Now, like I said, man, it's your boy ATM Louie, man. ATM Louie and Sticks. I keep saying ATM Louie. I got something new to show y'all. Well, it ain't new because I got a couple of um, grips from the same company for a different gun. But I just bought one because this gun is so little, man. I don't know if y'all remember me showing y'all this. But from the first video, I had showed y'all this. Um, the LCP Ruger, man. It's clear. 380. All the bullets right here. It is clear, YouTube. So don't go crazy. It is clear. But anyway, this gun, like I said earlier, is so little, man. Like, just look how little this gun is, bro. I literally, I think I showed y'all this from the beginning. Look at this. Look how little this gun. It's probably about the the length. The barrel is probably the length of my fingers, if not a little shorter. Literally. But anyway. This gun is so little, like I said before, I was going to add a grip to this, man, because this gun pops so much. When you shoot it, it pops so much back into your hand, man, it's almost likely for it to just fly out your hand. And you don't have anything to grab on, because look, this right here is the mag. And it does have a little, little part for you to rest. I would say your pinky, but my pinky don't even fit on here, right here. It's like, you could probably fit about two fingers. So all this extra space, nothing. So I'm gonna, I'll hold it with two hands, but the pop of it can literally like make it, you know, it's a little gun, it's a little gun. So, and it holds, uh, if y'all, if anybody's wondering, it holds six plus one, six plus one. I usually keep one in the head. It don't have no safety on it. I ain't never really get too much into, into detail about this um, in the first video and I'm, you know, I was so excited. And it does have a lot of kickback low-key um, because it's so little. Like, it might not be like a very, 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 very powerful round, but this thing is so little. So when anything shoot out of it, like a small pistol like that, and you barely can grip it, like, because of the size of your hands, it'll be so hard to, like, hold it down. You get what I'm saying? It is, like, hard to hold it down. That's a, you, I got to add something on there, man. I know y'all show y'all this before, too, this extended mag for this. This help out. This help out too. This extended mag definitely helps out. It's still little, but it definitely helps out. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, if I want to be, like I said, um, discreet as discreet as possible and like put it in my pocket or in my shoe, you know what I'm saying? Or in my pants, my jacket, anywhere. If I want to put this down somewhere without somebody noticing and I can't use this because then it'll kind of be poking out. So without that, this right here is going to pop out your hand. So it's hard to hold this down. So nevertheless, I want to show y'all what I got for this, man. It's not a surprise because I'm pretty sure most of y'all know about it. But I'm low-key happy about it because I'm adding stuff to, like, all of my guns. And I'm going to upgrade. Like I said before, we upgraded together. Like, what little baby be doing? We, we, we upgraded together, man. So look, this right here, I have, some, I have some of these already on my other gun. But I'm just glad to find one for this gun because this is probably the most... The, the hardest recoil gun I have, probably. Well, actually, outside of my uh, Judge Taurus. That Judge Taurus hit. But anyway, this is what I got. This is what I have. Hogue. It's a um, a Hogue handoff grip sleeve for semi-automatic semi pistols. Recoil absorbing rubber. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, read that real close. Hogue. Hogue is a really good company, man. Their grips is really good. And I just wanted to show y'all how I would um kind of install this or put it on my, it ain't hard, but to put it on my LCP Ruger, it's a little different because it has like a little pin in the back of it that I would like to show y'all about. If um anybody has like any questions, it is a Ruger LCP 380 auto and it is small. So you definitely, if you have one of these or the newer version, because this is the old um model, they have another model, a newer model for 380s. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same kind of installation for the grip but i'm pretty sure it's similar so if you have one of these i highly suggest that you get um that you get a hand grip especially if you you're not a girl you got some some big hands if you got some big hands and you got like a small three like this then you need to definitely it comes with the uh a little installation uh installation procedure i thought i had some in the back and it tells you how to do it so yeah, it'll um, show you some different, some different, not different ways, but it'll show you how. Anyway, let's open this thing up. 
I don't, honestly, I don't be reading these anyway, so, but it's good for the safety, you know, but don't be like me. Hey, if you watching this, don't be like me. So anyway, where my tools at? Where my tools at? So for this, I don't have no screwdriver or nothing small to poke it out, so I usually have something. Hold on. What the freak did I do with it? What did I do with it? Hold on. Y'all, yeah, all right, so look, I found it, man. I'm going to use this, um, and as you can see, I found my tools. I'm going to use my pick, man. I know some people, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But anyway, it's like, if y'all look closely, it's a pin back here that sort of matches up. So it's going to go on like this, right? But I have to take the pin out first. So I'm going to install this pin, and then I'm going to probably, uh, I'm going to fill it, fill it around, and I'm going to shoot this too. I'm going to do another video for um definitely for this gun too man because look i gotta shoot all of them i'm telling y'all i gotta shoot all of them so first let's poke this out let's poke this out this little part out to match up and then what we're gonna do is put the pin back in all right so look here we go I'm trying to get it right on a the dot there we go What the heck? All right, bro. So this is what they're going to do. I got it. So I got the pen out. I'm sorry. I got the pen out. And what you what you have to do now is to take the pen out from the back of here. Right? So let's do that right quick. We're going to poke this pen out. Mm, definitely kind of tricky. So before... You even put um this on. See on the inside, it has like a little um box in here, if you can see it, that takes the place of this little part here. So I had to get you know the pick and press, or you can find you don't have to use a pick. You can find anything that's small enough to fit in these holes. Press the inside of here so I can take the hammer spring um back seat off of the lower part of the frame and if y'all can see it um the back of the frame right so i pulled that out that's it for this this part in here as i said before this little plastic area in here takes the place of this so you're not gonna you know no longer need that anymore then you will have to put this on here and it'll work. See, I was having trouble towards the beginning because I didn't take the um the uh what's the name of the hammer string seat hammer spring seat. I'm sorry, <laughs> off of here. So now it fits perfectly, and this is what it looks like. So now I have more of a grip on here. So I'm not done. So I'm not done. I'm getting too excited. I'm not done. I have to put um the pin back in here, and that'll pretty much seal this from coming off when you shoot so i have a new one this is the new part that came back here and i i guess i did have to read the manual too um to utilize and then move the frames and your pen simply pull and time. like i said this is what the gun looks like after everything is installed i pretty much showed y'all the ins and outs on how to install this rubber grip on this 380 man and like i said before i highly recommend a grip for the 380 because it's so small and people with big hands, you know, it's hard to pretty much hold on to it, man. So you definitely need a good grip when it comes to smaller guns so your accuracy can be right because I definitely don't want y'all missing your targets, man. So this is what it looks like with the clip-in, the regular clip-in. Gives you a little, it don't give you that extra pinky space, but it definitely gives you something more to hold on to with the, um, with the handle. This is what it looks like with the regular clip, like I said. And, you know, for the, extendo boys this is what it looks like with it on there so it's not a bad look man i don't know y'all comment down below and tell me would y'all cop this or drop this man because it's it's not a bad gun to hide maybe it's for your girl or somebody like that man somebody with some small hands but like i said man this is 
It's not a bad gun. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man, to this video. Because like I said, we growing. We growing together. I'm growing with y'all and y'all growing with me. We're going to grow together, man. So we're going to keep moving on up with the better the better quality and um better guns. And I definitely got a new phone on the way. So I'm, these videos are about to be more clear. So like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what stores you think I should hit for guns. Uh, for ammo, all of that, what um, range you think I should go to, um, what guns you think I should look at or go buy, what, uh, you know, anything that pertains to firearms, let me know if y'all want to see, like, you know, some different uh, different style videos, whatever that means, because I got some stuff in the back for y'all, but it's always good to hear different people's opinions, man, so make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and definitely comment down below, and tap in with me, man, appreciate y'all.